let, let me um, translate the English quickly because this seems to be hanging on people's mind. This morning, the group of seven people came from Hebei, a province north of Anhui here. They came there, four women and three others, two men and women. So seven of them come together. They are not in one group. They came and they met and they joined. They told me, as far as I understood, they told me that they had come and yes, that last night they supposed to leave, go back, but then somehow something get on their mind and they said they could not go. They said something's missing. They want to see somebody else. Something they have to meet someone. Where is that source of talk? Don't know. Um, so they decided together they they stay back without leaving, staying in any hotel they stay out there somewhere. And today they came and they said, it's like there is a, a clouds that surrounding them and you let them keep running around, running around, running around. So finally they came to the Guan Yin Fong and then the moment they saw me, she said, oh, Sư Bu. And they said, I found you. So that's what she said. The first thing, she, she grabbed me and she said, I was a little surprised, but my sixth sense, meaning, uh, if you, you know, if you look at someone at the first sight, you immediately have some kind of measurement because link. I look at the person and I said, wow, interesting. Uh, I don't have any negative feelings about that lady. Because two of them come out first and then the third one appears. And then some of them come And they strictly asked that, um, you know, they, um, they didn't ask for money. They didn't ask for anything. They just tell their story. The, the interesting that they did not ask for help. They just tell the story. They told, that's what's happening. We wouldn't walk away. It's something that we found missing. And we've got to be here, we've got to meet someone. And I think they're pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty, uh, pretty uh, um, uh, uh, sincere in one way. But they're not the people who are liars. You can see their face and they would be slick with their words and oh, but they're not. Now, interesting enough, you know, they, they, the moment we decide one year, they cry. And I don't know why we cry. I saw many of uh, our face and people in our group cry. I don't know why. What, what's going on with you? <laughs> I saw many many people cry as well. I don't know what's going on, but however, sh sh they cried and um, then the story comes slowly, slowly in the set that they they have this, uh, uh, that they want to come and study to find out what's going on with their life. Basically, that's the, the answer, the, uh, the very thing. And so I sat down and I, I taught them how to bow and how to resign. And the men come forward, they said that, uh, he said that the day that tripping for is this uh, the Sakyamuni Buddha birthday. He came to the temple. When he got home, all his hair is just fall off. It's gone. So I thought it's a cancer. I don't think it's just an event. I think it's cancer. So my first reaction was, oh, maybe you drink some kind of polluted water, because I have read enough uh, that the number one problem in Hebei, the water is very dirty. Okay. I, I have my source, and that's New York Times. I have all of this, and Hebei is one of the most polluted water. And so I, I just asked him the water. But they said, well, we drink from the same well. Only this guy got it, so, you know, we didn't get it, so I said, maybe I didn't. So that's my first reaction, but then we got on talking, 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 I know a little bit more, and so I told him how to recite a great bunch of mantra, and we sit down, we sat down, we recited for him, and he was sincere, he took the sutra, the sutra thing, and he went back and he recited. You look at the guy, he, he, he didn't seem to be a bandit, you know, um, um, you know a rope, um, Smuggler, I don't think so. He just, it's too, um, I think they all have the selfishness, but they're not the kind of professional, you know, killers and uh, uh, stalkers and all that. No. But you think about the, the time that they spent with us, that's a lot of time. So I don't think they really have ill intent. So I, tend, I mean, you know the rest of the story. So I, they come home. Okay, and we took the address, we took the cell phone number, we took everyone's info information. I have the information. So, it wouldn't be any problem, I don't think. 
they are fake. Now, just now when I came down here, the Wang Tongzhi said, oh, these people, maybe they're very bad people, they just want money from you, the people here. Please tell everyone here, don't give them money. I agree totally. We shouldn't give money because um, there's no reason why we give money to people without knowing their needs. There's 1.3 billion people out there, and, and um, we, we shouldn't play a generous um, face if we don't know how that money could affect their thinking and their emotions. We can, be, we can feel very good giving people money, but we didn't understand the feelings behind, and so we should abstain from giving money to people confusedly. Um, uh, give money to these monks, and we, these monks are real poor. <laughs> right? These are the poor, so you're okay. Ah, okay. My master says, of course, um, this poor guy who lives in one point five million dollars house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the fact is, they, these people here, they ask, they ask where we live, where we stay tonight, and they want to come to see me. But that was perceived by the Wang Tongzhi by the quantum shu as they are chasing after us for money. I said, no, they, they, they wouldn't do that. And um, so anyway, there's not much we can talk about it. So my, my lesson is this, that it is Yuan. It's really a Yuan, a Yuan fun. You know, you, you met someone and uh, you can see the sincerity, you see how they reside, you see how their faces. I don't think they, they fake and they, they, they tyrannically play in front of us. No, I, I don't think they play that good. The, the girls, only the youngest, the, the fat girls, uh, cry profusely. I, I can't think they are fat. I just think that they need help. And, um, and, and you have to please understand this. These people here, most of the Chinese, are what we call touch deprivation. They, they, they don't touch each other. Even husband and wife, they don't do that. They are very touch deprivation. So the man came in front of us to make the connection. I put the hands on his head. I don't heal him. I got to our friend, I said, we ask only to heal you. We are not healing anybody else. But touch is important. And that is the most powerful tool when you reach out to someone, you touch someone's hands, you touch someone's uh, face. You hug someone. You see, that's what's happening. And he, he, he was, he was, he couldn't hold his tear. He, he was crying at the moment. Now. The moment I touched him. But they pulled that. The guy, he, uh, he just touched that, that uh, deprivation. He need touch. He need that. And so I'm reaching out, and I have no power. Period. I have no power. I don't pretend it. I just tell him I have no power. But. Guan Yin probably sent you here, that's why I told them, Guan Yin must send you here. But, you know, I have nothing to tell you except the Dharma, and so I teach you how to do the Om Amidopo, Inhale Amidopo, and you saw that. That was greatly um, appreciated, uh, and that's all works out. And I don't have any other intention beyond that, because let the Dharma transform um, people. But we should not try to think we are someone to help someone else, you know, with the, the kind of uh, superiority of uh, arrogance. So I gave a lecture, and you have seen that. You even tip it. So that's uh, what's happening this uh, morning, and I hope you understand that. It's interesting because you think about how the conditions come together and how we met at the last day here. It's no coincidence. And, and I'm quite sure they're not killers, they're not robbers, they're not bandits. They just simply someone from her bed want to help. They just like anyone else here in this room. So that my little stories and the lesson to be learned is you have come to you, you don't resist, you embrace it, and you play the very best of your heart. Be so sincere and dealing with that. Not rejecting, not put any down. Not trying to do anything otherwise.